Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Job Nimbus 101 workshop today. This is the fourth of our five week series on automations in Job Nimbus. Today, we'll be talking about automations using activity as a trigger record, which can do some pretty fascinating things. My name's Logan. And I'm Dan. And Job Nimbus keeps track of a lot of activity in your account for you. So why not use that to trigger some automations? It keeps track of notes that you take. It keeps track of when records are deleted, when records are emailed. There's a lot here. And as we've talked about before, with automations, specificity is the key. So when we're talking about using activity as a trigger for automations, we should first talk about note types. Because a, using note types, you can really specify the conditions for your automation. So here we are in note type. Note types are found in your settings. You can add a new note type by clicking on this add type button here. And today we're going to be adding a new note type for angry customer. You'll find out why later. So we're going we're gonna to save this. And let's go into our automations and have a little tiny refresher on an automation. When we go into automation, we click on add rule to add a new automation. And remember, automations are when, if, then statements. So when an activity is created, modified, or deleted, if it has these conditions, and the, and the conditions you can use are type, note, and location, and that's note type, note contains anything specific, or if you have multiple companies on your account, you can use location of the note or activity, and then you do an action if it has those conditions, such as create a task, send an email, or we can change a parent record of the activity. So with that, let's jump in and create some automations together. Okay. Well, there is one thing that we do need to do before we build automations, Dan. What's that? Well, since we added something new to Job Nimbus, we need to refresh the page. That is very true. Very, very true. So let's do that. It's always a, a it's you know, always good to refresh the page after you add something in your settings. Yeah, like that note type that we just added. All right, so we're going to make an automation that's a little bit different today. And to start with, we actually want to look at the template. So this is the template that we're making. It's activity deleted. It says, hey, this is the name of the thing. It's been deleted from your account by a certain person. Here's information about it. Please verify that this was intentional. Now, the reason that we'd like to do this is because everything that you do creates an activity. And we can use these activities to restore things that have been deleted, like contacts, estimates, just about anything in your account. If you'd like more details about that, please check out our video, Secrets of the Activity Report, where you'll learn some awesome, cool things about activity. It's actually a great primer for this video. So we want to know if someone's gone in and deleted these activities that allow us to restore things, because that could mean something weird is going on. Now let's take a look at the automation that we want to make. So here we are, we're going to add a rule. And that rule is going to be when an activity is deleted. It's going to be event-based. It will be when an activity is deleted. Now we have to add some condition. So we're just going to say if the type is not equal to something that we don't care about too much, like meeting notes. Then we will send the email activity deleted to Charles Schnell, the owner of the account. So when an activity is deleted, unless it is a type we don't use very much like meeting notes, then send the email, which means we'll get it for just about everything we want. And this should help us keep our account secure and let us know if anything odd might be going on. Exactly. So that one was, that one's pretty good. <clears throat> Next one we're going to talk about will actually help out with your customer experience. You know, when we're out in the field and we're talking to customers, it's just the industry we're in. We're going to be dealing with angry customers. And that's where the note type that we created earlier comes into play. 
we're going to create an automation that looks at notes that we're adding into the customer's file. And if it has the angry customer type, we want to notify other people to jump in and really help this customer along their customer journey. So to start out, let's give it a title. And I wanna give this one kind of a funny title of a help angry customer. And we're going to say when an activity is created, and we're gonna add a condition. If the type is equal to angry customer, and we're gonna save that. And we are going to add an action here to create a task. And this one is reach out to disgruntled customer. We're gonna add a description of try and pacify the situation. Don't want it to be for all day, but it could go for longer than 30 minutes, but we're gonna keep it at that. And we're going to assign it to the sales rep, the current assignees, and the owner of the account, Charles Schnell. That way we can get as many eyes on this customer as possible so that we can help them out and really pacify the situation, really help them along their journey. So that right there, I think that's pretty good. And that will really help out your sales reps who are struggling. If they are dealing with a really, really angry customer, we can get someone else to you know, step in and either give them a call or reach out to them in some way to help out. So I'm gonna save that right there. Hey, that looks pretty darn useful. Let's show you one more way that we can use activity in our automations. And that's gonna be using some of the notes that we were discussing earlier. So this rule is going to be called move to estimate, which is a fairly descriptive, but doesn't mean much until we do the rest of this. So let's say when an activity is created, if the note is contains any of, and here you'll see we have a big list of things that the note could be, merging, deleting, creating, or sending. And in this case, we're gonna say when an estimate is sent, then we'd like to change the status of the parent contact of that estimate to customer estimate. And here we will wait until the customer has responded to that estimate that we sent. So this is three different ways that we can use activity to make our automations more effective for us to secure our account and to take care of our customers. I hope this video has been useful for you.